WTFNN. Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is, of course, the 4 p.m. Uh, market update. Wow. How about a day on that? Really making some big moves, making a huge all time high in the spot right now. It's 572 and 88 cents. You have the composite overall at 2.51%, finishing up about 18,000. 13 and 98 cents. You have the Dow Jones Industrial trading up as well, 1.26%, closing about 42,025 cents. That dollar kind of petering out there around that 100, you know, upper like 60 to 80 area, trading right now at 164. Of course, you have crude oil at 7107 as well. You have copper finishing off the day, the copper contract at 434. The gold still staying pretty strong, 2,613. Again, if you missed the interview I had with Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle uh, during the show last segment, uh, really check that out. Again, you can go to the Tiger Financial News Network on YouTube, and you're going to be able to see uh, that clip up there a little bit after the end of the program. Today, uh, let's see if the Russell also finishing up about 2.11%. Hoping to see uh, some renewed interest in the steel sector um, from these kind of rate cuts. Uh, trading right now, okay, so this is some nice move in steel dynamics. Okay, yeah, so we're going back up 120.09, up 4.32%. Uh, percent. Last time we were looking at it, uh, about yesterday, we were trading about the 113 area. Uh, the stock has the potential to do some really cool moves and trade in a relatively uh, predictable pattern range. If you haven't looked at it, certainly recommend. Uh, how about this for some interesting stuff? You have Dollar Tree, which of course uh, got smoked on earnings, trading down. 2.37% uh, currently, of course, getting smoked right there. They're in a really interesting spot where the convenience factor is gone for them, at least for upper income people. So people are ordering online. Um, some of the lower income uh, citizens that usually purchase there are still getting squeezed. And uh, they're getting outcompeted uh, with Walmart and Target, which is a pretty bad space for them to be in. And so the response to this is, in fact, they're going to expand locations uh, aggressively. I haven't taken a look at their balance sheet, which I definitely can do if I fill in tomorrow. We can just kind of take a look at, you know, how feasible that kind of is. But, you know, this is this is a pretty big risky move for them because you run the risk of blowing this up. I and mean, this is 1,300 new locations. Open more than 1,300 new locations this fiscal year. That can, you can run into some serious issues with that, like ruining all your cash flow, basically and then not getting any return. Folks, thank you so much for joining me today. I'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien, followed by Basil Chapman, the Tiger Technicians Hour, Steve Rhodes, Larry, and then I believe I'll probably be with you tomorrow as well. Take care, guys.